Maria Lapuma, and um, coming to you this morning from Oregon. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you are having a good morning, or if it's afternoon or evening, wherever you are, hoping you are well and taking care of yourself. So today I wanted to talk about how you can move fear, release fear, and um, get unstuck. Because oftentimes fear keeps us stuck in our lives, keeps us from taking those actions, keeps us from reaching our goals. And oftentimes we try to even plow through the fear, which is something that I don't recommend. For years I did that myself and it burns your adrenals and it creates even more stress in the body and it's not sustainable. We can plow through fear and um, hurt ourselves. So it doesn't mean that we have to live with the fear in our life because we can move the fear and allow it to be released through the energy body. So, you know, if we're, if we're trying to meet our goals and, and um, get things done or even... Um, speak up in relationships and, and there's that underlying fear it's like driving with your brakes on and it it doesn't work in the long run it holds us back it stops us from making the changes we really want to make so the first step in releasing fear is to acknowledging that you have fear and i want to remind you that our emotions are in our body and that even though many of us have become disassociated from the way those certain feelings feel in our body, they are there. And if you can't feel it in your body, that's okay. But just know that it's there and that as you start to pay attention to the energy in your body, you will start to become more and more aware of how certain experiences feel in the body. Now, children have it right away. You know, they feel fear, they feel it in their belly, their, their heart flutters, pressure in the head. And many of us also feel that. But a lot of times, as we've moved through life, we've learned in our culture to become more disassociated from our body. So I want to just, <clears throat> excuse me, encourage you <clears throat> I want to just encourage you to acknowledge where you are at any step of this process. And as you do that, you can just tune in to what's going on for you when you're feeling the fear. So I don't have to go into great detail as to how fear holds us back from living the life that we want to live. It, um, it can stop us from really being happy, joyful, and free. What I want to focus on today is what you can do about that fear, how you can start to release that fear and move into your life in a much more elegant way with much more freedom to do the things that you're feeling called to do and would like to do. And whether that's maybe changing a behavior or speaking up in a relationship or starting a whole new business, whatever that fear is that keeps you stuck, little by slowly you can start to move it and release it. The first step, as I said before, is to acknowledge that it's there. So, so often we run away from our emotions and we judge our emotions, we tell ourselves we shouldn't feel a certain way or we feel uncomfortable allowing our emotions. I want to encourage you to observe how you're feeling with a sense of curiosity and compassion. Just notice how you're feeling. A situation comes up in your life and it brings up some fear. The head might say, oh, you know, why are you feeling afraid of this? And, and you should just bully through. And No. Listen to the body. Listen to the emotion. And then tune into it. So today we're going to use modern energy tapping to move that energy. Our emotions are in our body and it's energy. And it's only energy. And energy wants to flow. We get into, we have problems when the energy is stuck or when we ignore it or we deny it or we stuff it down. And so often addictive behavior is really 
you know, when we're, we're diving into a bag of cookies, we're stuffing down the fear. So creating a safe space for yourself where you can acknowledge how you're feeling and allow your feelings is the first step to healing and moving through whatever discomfort you're feeling in your life. So I'm going to guide you right now through a process to move some fear that may be coming up for you today or it may be a chronic fear that comes up for you. I'd love for you to practice along with me. If you are new to Modern Energy Tapping, I will put a link to my ebook in the thread and you can learn more about it and why I'm using this amazing technique to help you to move through the emotions that are keeping you stuck. So let's begin with bringing our hands to our heart and take a deep breath in and a complete exhalation, letting go. And taking another deep breath in. And on the exhalation, allowing yourself to relax into your seat. And of course, make sure that you're in a safe and comfortable and appropriate place to be doing this. And if not, just come back to this video at a time when you can do this. I want to encourage you to just open yourself to this process and allow it. Even if you don't totally understand it, just be with it. Good. So we're going to just do one round of modern energy tapping to soften and flow and release any stress in the body before we tune in to more specific fear. So once again, just take another deep breath in and a complete exhalation, letting go. And then starting the tapping, you just tap the top of the head, soften and flow, dissolve and release. And then the next point is the third eye. Take another deep breath in and a complete exhalation, letting go, soften and flow dissolve and release. And then the next point is the eyebrow point. So just where the hair of the eyebrow and the bridge of the nose begin or meet. And just allow yourself to tune into the sensation as you're physically tapping on these end, meridian endpoints. Just notice how that feels in your body. Take another deep breath in and let it go. And then on the side of the eyes, Soften and flow, and dissolve and release. Underneath the eye, and the top of the lip, gently tapping and stimulating the energy flow, and the crease of the chin, soften and flow, dissolve and release. The next point is the collarbone. So just where the bone sticks up, that little indentation underneath. Another deep breath in, and if you want to move your body, that is good. Listen to your body and do, allow yourself to do what your body's calling to do. Your body has an innate wisdom and wants to heal, and wants the energy to flow. So let's just learn to listen to the body. Good. And then we are going to do the finger point. So taking your dominant pointer and begin by tapping on the thumb point, just where the nail bed and the skin meet. Again, another deep breath in and let it go. Soften and flow. And then the pointer. And a breath in and breath out and the middle finger soften and flow dissolve and release 
and the ring finger. And the pinky. And then the side of the hand, that fleshy part of the hand between the pinky and the wrist, also known as the karate chop. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. <sighs> Bring your hands back to your heart. And take another breath in and breath out. And let it go. Great. So now the next part is we're going to tune into a fear. I want you to, first of all, take responsibility for your own well-being. If you choose to follow along, you will receive some form of relief. And it may be just the beginning for you as you're starting to evolve your energy. So I just want you to be aware that there's no right or wrong. There's no um, perfect way of doing this. We all have different energy bodies and we all experience energy flow or energy release in a different way. So the, uh, the objective is to start to tune into your body and become familiar with yourself and how you respond to this. <clears throat> so bringing your hands to your heart and closing your eyes if you feel you can do that where you are as you're listening to this video. Just tune in to a situation in your life that is bringing up some fear for you. And as you think about that situation, notice how that feels in your body. And try to observe the sensation in your body without any judgment. And just observe it. Notice the energy and the sensation. You might feel a constriction in your belly, or you might feel a fluttering in your chest, or a pressure in your head, or a tension in your shoulders, or people feel it in their legs. Any part of the body. Just observe the body and notice the fear. Okay, that's energy. That's energy that needs to flow. So we're going to bring our attention, our intention, and our awareness to that energy. And we'll do one round, another round, of soften and flow to start allowing that energy to start to move. And take another deep breath in. And let it go. And then tapping the top of the head. Soften and flow. Relax and let go. And tapping on the third eye. Deep breath in and let it go. Soften and flow. Dissolve and release. And tapping on the eyebrow point. Another deep breath in and let it go. And then on the side of the eye. Soften and flow. Relax and let go. Underneath the eye and the top of the lip and the crease of the chin. Take a breath in and let it go on the collarbone. Soften and flow, dissolve and release. And then on the thumb point using the dominant pointer to start tapping on the thumb point, the finger points, and the pointer, <clears throat> and the middle finger, and the ring finger, soften and flow, the pinky, relax and let go, and the side of the hand, Dissolve and release. And bring your hands to your heart. And take another breath in and breath out. And tune into your body and notice if anything shifted or changed. Now you might feel a release. You might feel even more discomfort. Because sometimes, as I shared before, we disassociate from the sensations. So bringing our awareness to it 
makes us more aware of the fear that's actually in our body. And it's not that we're putting it there by tapping. We're just becoming more aware and more sensitive to it. And the more aware and more sensitive you are to the energy that's blocked in your body, the more empowered you are to move it and to release it. So if you feel that it's still blocked and stuck, I want you to maybe stop here and then go back and do a couple of more rounds of Soften and Flow. But the next step would be to tune into what kind of positive energy would help me when I think of this situation and I think about the fear in my body and the physical sensation of the fear in my body, what kind of positive energy will help this energy to move? What do I need to help it move? Now it could be faith, it could be courage, it could be compassion, it could be flow. I want you to think about a positive energy that you feel you really want to help you. And the more you want it, the better off you are because there's a vortex there, there's a void, and there's a part of your energy body that's calling for that energy, that perfect energy that's going to help to move this fear through the body. And we start with one positive, and as it evolves and we start to feel even freer from it, we can then call on another positive. But for today, let's tune into courage. And if courage is not totally sitting with you, I want to encourage you to just tune into what it is that you need and want to move this fear. But make sure it's a positive energy. It could be support, whatever it is. I'm going to say courage. And um, try that on. If... Again, if that's not sitting right, then say your word. And we'll go through another round of I want courage. Tap the top of the head. Deep breath in and let it go. Courage. On the third eye. Courage. On the eyebrow. Even more courage on the side of the eye. Deep breath in and let it go. Courageous like a lion. Underneath the eye, soften and flow. Deep breath in and let it go. And the top of the lip. I choose courage. Crease of the chin. Courage. Releasing any resistance as you start to stimulate these meridian points. Oftentimes resistance comes up and just know that that's energy that needs to flow so that you can bring in more fully the positive energy that will aid you and support you in moving the fear and allowing you to move into your life with a lot more freedom and elegance. And the collarbone, courage, soften and flow. And if it feels good to stand up, I really, typically I do stand up, but I'm not going to stand up now because I have to um, just rearrange my um, camera. But listen to your body. Energy flows beautiful when you're standing up. So stand up and tap on the thumb point. Courage. On the pointer. And just close your eyes and tune in to what that feels like. Courage in your body. I embody courage. And the middle finger and bringing some courage to the situation. What would that look like? What would that feel like? See if you can even get a picture of what that would look like. And the ring finger. And what would give you the courage? Maybe you need support. Maybe you need to support yourself. You know, oftentimes we look for others to support us and 
inside our own mind we're not supporting ourselves in words and actions? How can you support yourself to move through this fear? And the pinky, soften and flow. Deep breath in and let it go. And then the side of the hand. Courage. And bring your hands to your heart. And take another breath in and breath out. And tune into that word that you chose. Or if you chose the same was me, courage. Tune into that and the way that feels. Now this process may have stimulated some thoughts about other words, other kinds of energy that would help you. <clears throat> and I want to encourage you to continue the tapping rounds, calling on the positives until your energy is flowing and you're feeling really positive. You're feeling really good and the fear has left your body and you feel empowered to take a step in the direction of what it is that you'd like to do, what it is that the fear has been holding you back. So let's just do another round of positive energy, energy flow, releasing any residual fear or discomfort to allow you to take that next best step aligned with what it is that you would like to do. And top of the head, Deep breath in and let it go. Positive energy on the third eye. Support and encouragement. On the eyebrow. Deep breath in and let it go. And side of the eye. I choose to support myself underneath the eye. To take the next best step on top of the lip, the soften and flow, and the crease of the chin, another deep breath in and let it go, on the collarbone, see if you can get a picture of yourself standing in your power, feeling empowered to move in the direction of your goal or goals, free of the fear and encouraged and courageous. On the thumb point, soften and flow, and the pointer, dissolve and release, and the middle finger, positive energy and get up and move the body allowing that energy flow and the ring finger and tuning into the action that you're going to take deep breath in and let it go and the action might simply be emotionally supporting yourself or it might actually be picking up the phone and making that phone call or picking up the pen and writing that blog and the pinky on the side of the hand positive energy and flow bring your hands to your heart and take another breath in and breath out And notice how you're feeling <clears throat> and I don't want you to stop at just feeling good I want you to continue tapping until you're feeling great amazingly great inspired empowered and feeling as if you just can't wait to take that next next step and it doesn't have to be a huge step it could be the smallest step but a step aligned with your goal is is what's going to get the motion going you know we have to when we're inert it doesn't the energy is not flowing so taking an action taking a, an, a physical action will help the energy to start to flow and support yourself through this so 
I hope that was helpful for you today. I would love to hear how that was for you. Uh, I would really appreciate you just leaving me a message in the thread. I'm going to leave this video up for those of you who wanted to be here with me and were not able to make it this morning. I'm really uh, looking forward to hearing how this process was for you. And if you have any questions or would like me to further explain something, I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know. I need to hear from you in order to know where to go with this. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to checking in with you again real soon. And once again, thank you so much for Start dropping in and taking the time to watch this video. Until next time, much love. See you soon. Bye now. Bye now.